What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Marks the Alvo, and I'm back with another video. So I can tell by the title and thumbnail, y'all see gonna be doing this video. Some of y'all like it, y'all gonna post on the case and comment videos I'm gonna do next. Don't forget to follow my social medias down here. Don't forget to check out the description. Y'all don't wanna miss nothing I'll put in the description. Let's get into this banger, man. Alright y'all, so as y'all can tell by the title, man, I got something different for y'all today. Today I'm going to be showing y'all, man, how to own a firearm under the age of 18 legally. So you don't have to hide it from the police or nothing like that. It's going to be legal. And you can purchase it right from the gun store, your local gun store. You can purchase it. And I don't really know about the other states and stuff. For me, I'm in Illinois, so if you in Illinois, this video should be good for you. But if you in other states, I don't know if this go with y'all states so y'all gotta look at y'all laws and stuff but this for illinois i'm in illinois man i'm finna show y'all how y'all can own a firearm legally under the age of 18 years old man y'all right now i'm 17 my birthday finna come up on the second man so y'all wish me a happy birthday but i uh i found out about this when i was 16 though i got my foid and stuff when i was 16. that's what it's called a foid if y'all don't know that already man it's a foid it usually say 18 years old but you do not have to wait until you 18 i'm gonna show y'all how to do that today and before we get into the video i'm gonna show y'all my foy just to let y'all know i'm not sending y'all off for none i actually got a foy card let me show y'all there you go y'all see that man we finna get into the steps from this video the links for this video gonna be in the description so y'all go check that out the link's gonna be in the description let's get into it man all right y'all so i'm gonna be screen recording off my phone screen recording from the start right now there we go i'm screen recording and let's go right there Let's go right here. I was looking at something else. But let's go right here. Hey, go to the website you're supposed to go on. Link for this is going to be in the description. I don't know what other states' uh, website is, but this is the Illinois website. Ours is like our uh, police department of uh, firearms. So search up y'all, like y'all state, then search up police department firearms license or something like that. It should pop up. But this is right here, and y'all see that it's a full card. It's a license uh, firearms dealer. And it got the concealed to carry. So I'm not 21 yet. You gotta be 21 to get your concealed to carry. Concealed to carry is basically like carrying it outside. So if you're 21, you can apply for that. I'm not 21 yet, so I can't do that. But we're not gonna be focused on that. We're gonna be focused on the FOID, man. So the FOID is where you can like go in a gun store and like purchase ammo and like guns. But it's not all guns. Like you can't get a handgun with your FOID in Illinois. You only can get like a rifle and a shotgun, but I, I heard about a new law that uh, rifles is banned, like fully all the rifles is banned, so I don't know too much about that, but I know you can get a shotgun. I don't know all the guns you can get, but you can you can, you can buy a gun, bro. So y'all see the first one right here, say FOIA card. That's what you wanna click on, you wanna press uh. You can press learn more information about the FOIA links or just press enter. You press enter, it's gonna go to this screen and stuff. You make an account, sign in, I already did all this and stuff. But y'all see it right here, it say, um, let me show y'all. It say the assault we weapon identification guy is here. So it's telling y'all about the assault weapons that like you can get and you can't get. I don't know too much about that. I gotta do some research on that, but I heard that it was banned or something. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all know about that. I heard that it was banned or I don't know if it was true or not, but y'all let me know in the comment section and stuff. But that's the website. Y'all going to make an account and stuff like that. Then you gonna put your information in, put all your stuff. Do not lie about none on that because it probably affects your like the verification for your um them accepting your FOIA card and stuff like that so don't don't lie about nothing on that but then it say you supposed to be 18 18 or older but you do not have to be 18 it's going to have another step on that to get your parents permission so if you get your parents permission and they don't got like no record no stuff like no felonies and stuff they can sign you up or if they own a FOIA card they already got their FOIA card it should make it better for you and you just put your information under their information and you can get a FOIA card it's your parent or guardian so it don't have to be like your your mama or your daddy it could be your uncle your brother anybody who got a FOIA card that you know that's like take care of you that you can get a FOIA card under their name so after you do that after y'all sign up and all this stuff y'all gonna have to sign some stuff then it's gonna be a part where y'all gotta get it notarized so if you want to get it notarized it's basically like somebody signing off on it that you like this show legit information and stuff and it uh costs i paid like 25 dollars i think to get my paper notarized that you gotta print out and stuff they're gonna give you the links to the paper that you gotta print out and stuff you get it notarized I'm in Chicago, so you can go to, it's a notary, It's a, I think it's a notary place like on 87, if y'all in Chicago, y'all know what 87 is. 
it's another new place right there. Or you can go to your nearest curse chain. You can do it at the curse change too. They know the rise papers. And it's just a small little fee. It shouldn't be too much. It shouldn't be too much. It just get it notarized. Then you just want to send it back to them, ship it back to them. Then they're going to look at your paper. They're going to verify it. Once they verify it, you send in pictures for your ID. Me, I take a picture off my phone. You can just send a picture off your phone and stuff like that, and you you good. And you're going to have to move your hair out your face and all that. Nothing. Can't wear no glasses, no mask, or nothing like that. Move your hair out your face, send your picture in. And you should be on this verification process. And it took them like, it didn't take that long to, like, it was like less than a month to verify my stuff. And once they verify, they're going to send your card out. And you're going to get your card in the mail, man. I showed y'all the card in the uh, beginning and stuff. This how the Illinois ones look. I'm going to show y'all again. This how the Illinois ones look right there. It said on the, at the top right here. Yeah, I see it. And this how the back. It tell you what you can do with the FOIA card on the back. Then with this, once y'all get y'all FOIA card, Y'all, it's sent to y'all house, y'all got it in y'all hand. Y'all can go to like a gun store, uh, one in Chicago, I think like American Eagle, something like that. Y'all can look up y'all nearest gun store and stuff. Or y'all can do a private dealer or something like that. Y'all can go right into the gun store and buy y'all the guns that y'all can get. Like, you can't get no handgun though. With your four, you can't get no handgun. But you can get like a shotgun. I don't know about the AIs, like I said. I don't know if they still sell them in Illinois. But if they do, you can get you an AI. The AIs, they was available for purchase you get ammo you can buy ammo and stuff and you can buy stuff like that but you cannot you cannot i'm gonna repeat this you cannot you cannot carry outside with your foy car this is only for like basically like home defense home defense your foy car basically a home defense and like a purchase and stuff like that so do not get y'all foy card thinking y'all got the concealed to carry the concealed to carry is a whole nother license when you're 21 you gotta take classes for stuff like that. And yeah, you gotta be 21 and old to get your concealed to carry. But the FOIA card, you can be 18 or under 18 like I was. I got it when I was 16. But yeah, man, that was the steps to owning a gun legally uh, before you 18 or under 18 or 18 years old. Whatever y'all wanna say it, but you can own a gun before you turn 18, 16, 17 all that that's the guy man and when y'all get these foys bro do not be doing nothing crazy bro it's a leak it's a it's legal so use it the legal way man i did not make this video to inform y'all to do nothing illegal man do it the legal way get y'all foys y'all get y'all foys get y'all ccls man and i know y'all probably in the comment section like he just showed us how to get a gun legally but we can't take it outside bro y'all can wait bro it's only three years y'all can wait till y'all 21 to carry the gun outside, bro. It's not that serious. Y'all can wait for it. It's gonna come, bro. Y'all not missing out on anything. It's gonna come. But yeah, man, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope y'all enjoy. Hope y'all took this information. The link gonna be in the descriptions and stuff like that. Yeah, that's the end of this video. Hope y'all like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, man. And I'm out, man. Let me know what videos I want next and if y'all got any more questions about this and stuff like that. And I'm out. See y'all next video, man. Okay, bye.